Hi everyone, Miss Dolman and Lucy here. Every year, the Earth takes a trip around the sun. This is called a revolution. Now, within that time period, the Earth has four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. These seasons are due to the way the Earth is tilted in space. Now, today's lesson is all about winter time. And when it comes to winter, Mother Nature snows best. Enjoy! Oh, I love winter time. Woo! Who's that? Hi, I'm a snowman, and I'll gladly teach you all about winter. Winter solstice marks the first day of winter. It occurs around December 21st in the Northern Hemisphere and around June 21st in the Southern Hemisphere. Winter solstice has the shortest amount of daylight and the longest night. Here are some winter activities. Fingers frost that this turns out. Careful. Here's your scarf. Ta da! I got this. Whee! What's next? Okay, that was fun. Back up, back up. Woo! idea. Ah! Let's make cookies. What's next? I have an idea. What? Ah! Let's go sit by the fireplace. Ah, oh, this is so relaxing. It really is. We don't do this enough. Ducky's about to migrate. Migration is when some animals move seasonally from one place to another. They travel to warmer climates in the fall and winter months. They travel back to colder climates during the spring and summer months. Most animals migrate to a warmer climate in search of food or water or to have babies. Examples of animals that migrate are the white-tailed deer and some types of moose. Some marine animals also migrate, like salmon, sea turtles, and whales. Hibernation is a seasonal state of inactivity and rest. The animal's heart rate and activity slow down to conserve energy. Hibernation is similar to a deep sleep. Some animals don't hibernate or migrate. Cardinals seek shelter in nearby trees. Like many other birds, they puff up their feathers to stay warm. A bird's body temperature will heat up the air in between its feathers. The bird fluffs up its feathers to warm up the trapped air right next to its body. What are some of the winter holidays? Well, there's a lot. Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Valentine's Day, President's Day, Mardi Gras for Fat Tuesday, and St. Patrick's Day. Wow, that sure snowballed into a lot. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> the temperature change has to do with the way the Earth is tilted in space. We revolve around the sun, but the tilt doesn't change. 
Winter season occurs when the planet moves from more direct sunlight into more indirect sunlight. For example of this, let's picture a flashlight. See how the flashlight is the brightest and becomes less and less bright as we get closer to the circle's edge? When we revolve around the sun, we move from being in the center, direct sunlight, during the summer season and into the indirect light during the winter season. Another way to think of indirect sunlight is moving into shade, like the shade of a tree. It is a lot cooler because you are in the indirect sunlight. You can teach a cold dog new tricks. I have snowed out. You've learned all about wintertime. Bye everyone! <laughs>